another video. Today, 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 excuse me. Today, I think we're going to do 10 best moments. We're going to do 10 best moments in live PD. I don't know about y'all, but I love me some live PD. It's hilarious. So let's check it out. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get used to this thing. I'm a beginner, all right? I'm a beginner. Help me out. <laughs> uh, I want to do full screen. Ten best moments in Live PD. Ever since its premiere, Live PD has become a great show to watch on the A&E network. The show has some insane episodes that leave you questioning if these people are 100% normal or are characters from a telenovela. Today, we feature some of the best moments in Live PD with more of the videos compiled from the Texas department. With that said, be ready to cringe, laugh, and drop some jaws as we list for you ten best moments in Live PD. Let's go. Number ten, tables turned. A suspect from Fort Bend, Texas, found himself in a situation after he was flagged down by officers. Upon being asked for his driver's license and insurance information, he informed the officer that he had no insurance documents since he keeps them on the door panel and got out. The driver in the vehicle was suspected to be smoking Mary Jane, and even before the officer told him to step out of the car, he questioned him about the previous offenses which he agreed to have been charged with possession. On stepping out of the car, the man was frisked and found with no illegal- They're picking on him. He's got pot, pot pants. <laughs> He's got pot pants on and they're picking on him. ...substances. The lady in the passenger seat, however, wasn't on Luck's side. When she was asked by the officers what she was holding, she claimed they were not hers and wasn't clear as to whom they belonged to. Oh she insisted God. that she had nothing on her Should've and she was girl. just a passenger in the car. On searching the vehicle, one of the cops was stunned to find a bumper in the back seat. The man driving the car explained that it had come out earlier while his car was getting towed, since he had run out of gas. Nothing incriminating was found inside the car, apart from a small bag that had all sorts <laughs> of incriminating substances. And... Luckily, since they were found on the passenger side, the man People was released as the lady was taken into custody. I guess now she'll remember who the items really belonged to. Number 9. School Bus Chase Some people steal bikes, others steal cars. But the most daring criminals of all steal a whole school bus. Texas police found themselves chasing down a stolen school bus that was being driven by a 16-year-old boy. At this moment, I think it was just for some clout, but the way he was serious in the pursuit makes me have some doubts. On the bright side, there was no kids on the bus, so it was a one-man showdown. The young man was so daring since he was even driving without any lights on. At one moment, the whole scene seemed cringy, especially when the bus took a sharp turn and almost seemed as if it was about to topple over. Luckily, only the emergency exit popped open. The driving, however, got more erratic as smoke started coming out of the bus. The whole scenario felt like a scene from GTA since the bus was almost taken into oncoming traffic before making the decision to stick on the right road. It was unclear if the driver was driving under the influence because the way the bus was veering off the road and hitting the rail seemed unreal. The next thing you know, bam! The bus crashes into one of the unit cars and comes to a halt. A the driver is an apprehended and asked I mean, a couple of questions but tries good. to outsmart the officers by acting mentally challenged. He was then taken in by EMS for further tests, but will still face several charges. Tragic. Number 8, right. Teen vs. Telephone Pole. As the title suggests, this teen escaped being smashed into a smoothie after him and his friend smashed bumped into a telephone into a pole smoothie. and cut the lines in half. This teen driving was shaken as the car was severely damaged at the either. front while his friend was also confused. When asked by the officer the speeds to which they were driving, he claimed to be only doing 30, but the impact was so huge to be anything less than 100. In his defense, he claimed that he was driving just fine before being distracted by a young child on a bicycle causing him to evade and crash by hitting the pole. When the teen's mom arrived on the scene, the young guy finally confessed that he was speeding and received some scolding from his mom. What was worse was the fact that he didn't even have a driver's license. His mom was glad that nobody was harmed at the scene, but she was angry because the car was only a month old. According to the officer, the young boy just wanted to flaunt the sports car and had no bad intentions. However, they needed to be certified drivers as well as drive carefully on the roads. The teen was then charged with reckless driving, so much for flexing. Number 7. Officer's First Big Bust When you're caught in a sticky situation, you'll do almost anything as much as acting dumb just to get out of it. 
When an officer was called to back up his colleagues, he didn't expect to find what they did. The man who was already cuffed was refusing to cooperate, but the officers were sure he had some possession of marijuana, since not only did he reek of it, his car was smelling of it too. After a couple of searching, nothing was found in the car. It was then the officer noticed the trunk of the car hadn't been checked yet. The guy at the time, who was already shaking, started acting oh, yeah. dumb when the officer nervous. requested he opens his trunk. Oh, he, he kept on pressing the car keys as if he had no idea how to open it, but the officers were sure he was just pretending. Alas, just as they wanted to break the trunk open, the man suddenly remembered how to open the trunk, and the officers were shaken yep, with the big discovery. Is. Never in his career had this officer made such a bust. With the guy in his custody though, maybe he should learn better tricks for next time. Number 6. Kids Trapped in a Hot Car we all know that feeling when it's hot inside the car with no AC and the windows are fully shut. Now, imagine a one-month-old baby or two-year-old trapped in the car when it's about 100 degrees outside. A mother accidentally found herself oh, in trouble no. after she accidentally locked her children in the I car. Luckily, there was help minutes away from her. When the officer arrived at the scene, the kids had already been in the car for about five minutes. As the lady explained, she accidentally locked the car without picking her keys as she was getting her children. Luckily, the officer had with him a flashlight strong enough to break through the window, saving the children right on time. When the ambulances arrived, the children were taken to the hospital just to ensure they were both okay without any complications. The woman wasn't charged since it was evidently a mistake and not negligence. Number five, stepmom locked me out. Having step parent Honestly, in some cases like that, I'm surprised they didn't charge her. Cause when you call the police and they have to come and you know what I mean, and I'm surprised they didn't charge her with child neglect. Just for them having to come out there and you know waste their time doing all that. And they want to see somebody. They want to arrest somebody. You know that's their job. That's what they're paid to do issues is something that has been normalized to the extent that an evil stepmom has become a thing in many movies. In this episode of Rogue Kids, this 17-year-old girl was locked out of her house by her stepmother after she disobeyed her father's rules. When the officer got to the home of the complainant, she found a tongue war taking place as the 17-year-old together with her sister exchanged curse words with their father. According to her dad, he'd had enough of her and wanted her to go because not this only is, is she disobedient, but she's also irresponsible. The teen insisted all she wanted from the house were work clothes since she no, couldn't get to work without her uniform. Here, here, here. The two sisters explained that don't they tried that. to talk to their stepmom, but you'll regret it when you're older. Don't do that. Don't be hitting your parents. None of that. Listen to them. I'm telling you, your parents are looking out for you. And they're only, it's in your best interest. They just want what's best for you. If, you know, if they disagree with you at one point, they may, you know, it's, your parents want what's best for you. So please listen to them. That's to all the kids out there. Please listen to your parents. Because when you get older, like my age, you're going to look back and be like, damn, they was right about everything. But she refused to listen to them and instead phoned their Especially father. The boys After negotiations the with the officer, the father finally They're agreed that she could right get inside that. to pack her belongings, but there were still a couple of harsh verbal exchanges. He was clear that he no longer wanted her at his house, and opted she goes to her mother's. When the officer called the girl's mother, the story was almost similar since she was also not ready to take her in, despite having legal custody over her. I get them though, she sounds like a raging teenager. Number 4, oh Warren's God. Mama Just as the name suggests, the this woman time? nicknamed Warren's Mama has not one, not two, but several warrants amounting to over $40,000. Wow. Wow. When the officer pulled over a white SUV, it was because it didn't have a license plate light. On running the vehicle on system, he was stunned to find the out that the owner that of the vehicle had multiple see. warrants, including felony warrants. System, he was stunned. To Did you? What the hell is that? Utah. Forty thousand dollars. When the officer that? pulled over a white SUV, it was because it didn't have a license plate light. On running the vehicle. Utah. What the hell is that supposed to be? This right here. Is that a BF? Are Utah, is Utah known for bees? Or is that, is that a bell? What the hell is that? Somebody from Utah, please explain that to me. The little patch here. What does that resemble? What is that? Colon system. He was stunned to find out that the owner of the vehicle had multiple warrants, including felony warrants, when she was requested to step out of the car. She acts confused as to what the officer was talking about and apparently had no do. clue that he there were warrants do. out for her arrest. <laughs> Some of the charges include you know possession, controlled substances, <laughs> theft, driving suspension, among other things. Before getting arrested, she requests the officer to allow her to make a call to someone to pick up her kids. 
Shortly after, her children start crying as if they are signaled to do so since they were quiet moments before. Sooner or later, a family member comes to the rescue and takes the children to safety. The officer in charge was polite enough not to place her under arrest in front of her children since he was mindful of their feelings. Talk about having a human heart. Number 3. The Road to Impound As if one single day couldn't get any worse, a woman's car is impounded when officers discover she has outstanding warrants. Imagine just a regular day, and as you thought you could get away with changing lanes unlawfully, you get busted by an officer instead. Initially, this officer was concerned that the driver of the vehicle was changing lanes where she isn't allowed to. When asked for her license, she claimed it was lost and only had night. ID. The officer agreed to check records only to discover that her license is suspended and had no other option but to impound her car. Aww. Also, there were three different warrants for her arrest due to shoplifting charges, intoxication, Ooh. and speeding. When the car was searched, they were found in possession of substances oh as well God. as snorting items. When asked if she abused substances, she, she claimed she was clean, up, but the she? real comedy was when she was asked for how long and said one or two days. What was more hilarious was when she claimed oh, that the items found in her car, car weren't hers, but belonged to her boyfriend, who at this time had a priceless face. That that Luckily, she got away with it as she didn't have a felony and the jails were full. Her car was then impounded. Number two, snitched on by a friend. Remember that sometimes the friend you think is a ride or die can rat out on you when the situation gets messy. I don't blame this driver though, his friend deserved it in the first place for bailing out on him. After officers pulled over a truck for having no plates, the passenger immediately jumped out and ran away. <laughs> this calls the officer to search the truck only to find a case with some crystal substances believed to be controlled substances. The driver denied that the items belonged to him and ended up snitching on his friend. This led to a foot pursuit that ends in an arrest. Since this the said friend right. had felony warrants, the driver was warned to stay away from him or you risk getting dragged into his mess. Up. Number 1. Man Up in Midland <laughs> If playing smart was a skill, this man would get the title as the most crafty in the books. When he was confronted by the officer about his car, he claimed that he didn't have any license but only an ID on him. Not only that, he claimed that he'd just bought the vehicle, hence the expired plates. The officer proceeds to ask him if he'd been charged or arrested in the past and he dared to say he couldn't remember what it was for. On running his ID, it was discovered that he was wanted and there was a warrant for his arrest due to ticketing charges. Before the officer proceeds to inspect the car, the man insists that he wasn't the one in the car previously and had just gotten it. This statement raised the officer's suspicion since it was an indirect way of defending himself in case illegal substances were found in the vehicle. Just as they suspected, some white powder which was illegal substances were found tucked deep in the passenger seat as cans of beers were busted too, implying they were drinking and driving. Despite all this evidence, the man, who is now in police custody, continued to deny their involvement with the said items found in the car. The look on the officer's face tells just how pissed he was for being taken for a fool. This guy wraps up our list for some of the best moments in live PD. What do you think? Calling it bluff or was he telling the truth? Wow. <laughs> that was a cool video. Well, y'all know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all here next time. Alright y'all. Peace.